Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Celesty and today we are going to discuss about an electron displacement effect which is known as electromeric effect. So first of all I would like to say something very important about this effect that is this effect is usually not seen within a molecule itself but whenever a reagent is added this effect usually occurs. So this effect is not a permanent effect but it is a temporary one. Okay, so electromeric effect is a temporary effect. So in this video, we are going to discuss about various concepts of this electromeric effects. So let's begin our class. So first of all, you have to understand what is this electromeric effect. That is, it is the complete transfer. Okay, complete transfer of pi electrons. The pi electrons are completely transferred. Okay, pi electrons of the double or triple bond from one atom to another atom in presence of an attacking reagent. This is important, attacking reagent. Okay, so whenever in a compound an attacking reagent is present, so in presence of that there will be a complete transfer of pi electrons from the double or triple bond. Here I have taken an example of alkene. So as you can see, there is a double bond in between the carbon atoms. Okay, so in this double bond, one is the sigma bond and one is the pi bond. Okay, in the definition, it has been already written that there is a complete transfer of pi electron. That means from this pi bond, the electrons are completely transferred to any one of this carbon atom. As here it is a symmetrical structure so we can show the complete transfer of the pi electron to any one of these carbon atoms. So I will put an arrow mark and show the complete transfer. So here the complete transfer of electron will be towards one of the carbon atoms. So what happens the, if, uh, the carbon atom to which the electrons are being transferred will gain a negative charge while the other atom will gain a positive charge. Okay, so I will show it to you. Here, there will be a positive charge as the electrons are not transferred to this first carbon but the electrons got completely transferred to the second carbon. So here the other carbon atom will gain a negative charge. Okay, so this complete transfer of electron usually takes place in presence of a reagent. Okay, whenever uh, an attacking reagent is present, in presence of that, the complete transfer of pi electrons from this pi bond will take place. Okay, so this is the electromeric effect. Now, looking at the types of electromeric effect, there are two types. One is the plus A effect and other is the minus A effect. Okay, so one thing you have to remember in electromeric effect that is always uh, attacking reagent should be present. Okay, so in presence of an attacking reagent, this electromeric effect starts occurring. Okay, so in both these effects, in the plus C and the minus C effect, you can see there is an attacking reagent. Okay, in both the cases, there is an attacking reagent present. Okay, so here in this plus C effect, H plus is the reagent. Now, in this case, what happens? The H plus ion will get attached to that carbon atom where the electrons are transferred. Okay. So, here in this alkene structure, I can say that there is a complete transfer of electron to any one of the carbon atom. So, the carbon atom to which the electrons are transferred, that carbon atom will attack this reagent. So, this H plus ion will get attached to that carbon atom where the electrons are transferred. In this case, if I say that the pi electrons are transferred to one of the carbon atom, so this carbon atom here will gain a negative charge, okay? And the other one will gain a positive charge. Now, the carbon which is having the negative charge will attack this reagent, this H plus ion. Okay, so H plus ion will get attached to that carbon atom which is having the negative charge. Okay, 
So here I can write the structure as Okay, so H, H plus ion, that H plus ion got attached at the carbon atom to which the electrons are transferred. Okay, so this plus C effect means the reagents are attached where the electrons are transferred. Okay, this is the main thing. Now coming to the second effect that is minus C effect. This effect is totally opposite from the plus C effect. Okay, so in this minus C effect, what happens? The reagent are attached to that atom where the electrons are not transferred. So in this case, Cn minus is the reagent and this get attached to that atom where the electrons are not transferred. Here is the carbonyl compound. Here you can see the complete transfer of pi electron would take place towards the oxygen atom because oxygen is having higher electronegativity rather than the carbon atom. So the complete transfer of electron would take place towards oxygen atom. Okay. So this oxygen atom will gain a negative charge and the carbon will gain a positive charge. So in this case you can say that the reagent that the Cn minus will get attached to that atom where the electrons are not transferred. So here the carbon is that atom where the electrons are not transferred. So Cn minus will come and attach over the carbon atom. So you can write it as C, Cn and O minus charge. Okay. So this is the structure. So looking at both these effects, the plus C and the minus C effect, both effects are totally opposite from each other. As here in this plus C effect, the reagents are attached where the electrons are transferred. Okay, While in the minus C effect, the reagents are attached where the electrons are not transferred. So this was all about the types of electromeric effect. Now let's look at few important key points of this electromeric effect. So first one, it is a temporary effect. Why it is said as a temporary one? Because it is not seen in almost all of the molecule. But whenever an attacking reagent is present, this effect usually occurs. Okay, that is why it is a temporary effect. Second, it occurs in presence of a reagent. Always an attacking reagent is necessary for this effect to occur. Okay, third one, only multiple bond is responsible. Okay, multiple bond that means it can be a double bond or a triple bond. Okay, so the electrons from the double or the triple bond will be completely transferred. Fourth point is complete transfer of pi electron occurs. Okay, so pi electrons from the double or triple bond will be completely transferred to any one of the atom. Okay, so this was all about the electromeric effect. I hope this is clear to you all. So now we shall meet in the next class with a new topic. So till then take care and have a nice day.